you don't need to be listening to me talk like this. On no, the... it's, it's okay. I like the company. How about some food? Should I make us some Christmas fettuccine? Listen. I know it's hard to believe people when they say I know how you feel. But I actually know how you feel. You see... I was seeing someone <clears throat> back in London. We worked for the same newspaper. And then I found out he was also seeing this other girl, Sarah, who worked in the circulation department on the 19th floor. Turns out he wasn't in love with me, like I thought. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I understand feeling as small and insignificant as humanly possible and how it can actually ache in places that you didn't know you had inside of you. And it doesn't matter how many gyms you join or haircuts you get or glasses of Chardonnay you have with your girlfriends. You still go to bed every night going over every detail and wondering what you did wrong or how you could have misunderstood. Or how in the hell, for that brief moment, you thought you were actually happy? Sometimes you'll even <clears throat> convince yourself he'll see the light and show up at your door. And after all that, however long all that may be, You'll go somewhere new. And you'll meet people who make you feel worthwhile again. And little pieces of your soul will slowly start to come back. And all that fuzzy stuff. All those years of your life wasted. Well, that will eventually begin to fade. Well, fuck. Um, you need this more than I do. <laughs> so that's what you're doing here? You're, you're getting over somebody? This is me in good shape. Is this the guy who sent you the pages for his novel? He needs me. Right, so he stays in touch. Which is, you know, great for him, but sucks for you? All the time. <laughs> Right, which uh, makes it impossible to forget him, which is, you know, great for him, but sucks for you. <laughs> See how great your life is compared to mine? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go in there, make some fettuccine, go sit out on the patio and pop some bubbly, and celebrate being young and alive. You with me, Simpkins? Miles, you really are an incredibly decent man. I know. It's always been my problem. <laughs>